All right. Where are we at? We out here talking about drop on cobble. Uh, first things first. I basically, especially on gun rounds, obviously, um, but especially on anti, sorry, especially on anti eco rounds, but on gun rounds too. I basically try and afford myself a Molotov every single round um, because it will carry games. That and um, a fucking HE nade. They're both useful as shit. Um, and then, of course, like the rest of drop is, is logic and movement, right? If you're in a situation where uh, you're on a low buy, there's a couple guns personally that I like for the low buy. Uh, one of them is a Mag 7. Uh, you can do a uh, XM if you like that more. I don't, you know, shotguns are okay, but they're not great. I also personally, I really enjoy the the uh, UMP. I think it's the best SMG in the game, even after the nerf. Um, not for for some things, like not for like longer range, like running and gunning and shit like that. Um, to be honest, like the best gun for that is actually the MP9 right now. Um, but where you're in drop and you need to hit, like you're able to hit headshots, it's actually perfect. It's like nuts. You can double dunk people like crazy um, and more. So uh, first things first, you spawn. It really doesn't matter where you spawn. You want to run this line every time. Um, and you're allowed, as the drop player, to be asking people not to not to block you through door. Um, I'm going to show you this jump uh, again real quick. It's very easy, if, just in case you don't know it. Um, you can you don't have to crouch, but you can if you want to. Like if you're a little early or a little late, and you crouch, it'll fix it'll fix it. Um, I am rusty right now because I haven't played in over a day. Um, so when you're here, you can actually hit this hop. When you do this correctly, like once once I've played several rounds, I literally hit this hop every single time straight in the window. Um, and then when you're in window, go ahead and drop that molly. I'll come back to the molly in a second. Um, there's there's a couple other things about about line efficiency. Um, drop is very timing sensitive, so when you're running the line, um, you actually literally want to run the fastest physical line that you can to get to drop. And then just be prepared that once like literally once your feet hit the ground here, um, I aim for this corner here, and I'll fly up in a second to show you why. I aim for that corner there. Um, because it'll bounce off the second wall and it'll 100% clear all of drop and It'll prevent anyone from walking all the way up here and setting up for for their like follow-up nade By the way, you can still get pop flashed um, And you can still get smoke canceled So it's imperative that by the way that smoke uh, hits the ground like right here So once it hits the ground right here if your molly's already up It's gonna immediately cancel your molly Unless the smoke bug's like a little bitch boy. Um, anyway, so once once your molly is up, you literally just need to be ready for gun up. And every single round, regardless of what, what else is happening, I'll move to one of two positions, like right off the bat. The first one that I like is this pole, because if they're deciding to smoke cancel, flash, and run through your molly, you can dodge behind here for flashes, for flashbangs. Um, the thing that I the thing that I do is I literally shove my face in the pole and go left and right. Now, if you were to look at a T mo at a CT model, obviously you're gonna say, "Wait a fucking second! My whole body sticking out from behind that pole." It's not about the body. It's not about. It's actually this is a commit spot. You're committing to this fight. The first thing you need to do is let them know. Is let your teammates know that it's a fast drop. That way, your statue, your pizza, or even your your plat players can look towards Z box and respond to it if they need to. If you have a rotator playing um, in connector, they can come up to window if they need to. But the, the most important thing is for you to be ready to dodge flashes and hit your headshots. Also, one of the things that, that has saved my life personally is if you see someone coming up and then you get full blind, be ready to whip up and then all the way back down. Whip up, all the way back down. Going up is for the headshot, coming down is for the drop. Going up is for the headshot, coming down is for the drop. Almost nobody, almost nobody does this, by the way. When they do that and they beat you, they beat you. We're going to talk about T-side later, but this is really just about being the, the CT and drop. So just, just a couple things to note, right? Um, this, is, this is all about the commit fight. That's all I'm talking about right now. Um, you swing to the right, you can clear this angle, and then you can swing to the left and isolate against it, right? So that this guy's in a commit spot now. 
He's got to, if, if he wants to come kill you on the left here, he's got to come come over to the, to the right and commit. If you have an E-Box player or you have a Ninja player, sorry, Ninja, uh, Pizza player, um, they can swing, and when this guy's committing, he's dead. Um, same thing Same thing goes for this side here. Uh, if this guy, if left side guy needs to move in, uh, gets, sorry, other way around. If E-Box gets Ninja, or why do I keep saying Ninja? gets window to commit to a fight then this guy all he needs to do is come right out and he's again he's back in that spot where he can cancel his own commit and then this is a, this is another like easy waterfall kill spot um, so that's that's all about specifically close in drop I really suggest you use the pillar use your use your like really listen for for footsteps um, because there's a couple different kinds of footsteps let me pause my music and turn my volume all the way up so I'm literally just going to run through and then I'm going to talk about the different sounds you're hearing. When you're in drop, you can hear this set of footsteps here. You can call everything that B-Long is going to face early. You can hear this guy scoping. I want you to, you know, you should absolutely be calling that. You can hear all the way back here. You can hear Dragon Lore. Okay? When you hear wood, the only, there's three places that they can be wood, right? You're, they're gonna be quiet wood, which is back here in like in castle and halls, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? They can be here, which is literally right above you. It's in a commit drop position, right? Or they can be like on this fucking thing. They can be boosted. They all three of those things make different sound. This this is the most common sound you're gonna fucking hear. People running in and out of castle and running around. Let me. I'm gonna uh, go quiet for stairs. So what you're listening for right now is a transition. Once you hear wood end and concrete begin, you know that they're running towards drop. Valve did this on purpose. As shit as Valve may be, they did this entire thing on purpose. When you know that they're here, this is the perfect time. When you know, when you hear this transition, it's the perfect time to toss your molly. And if they're running the, the same timing that you are, they're trying to get here as fast as possible, they're, you're going to hear this transition, like, right now, and then you fucking release the molly. Boom. Like, right as soon as you get in. You just release the molly right away. Just so you know, this spot can also be nated. Not not all the way back down, down there. But this that spot can also be nated from back here. I think it's this one here. Fire in the hole. Like, just, just above the good shit. Ah, I fucked it up. Throwing grenade. There it is. That's it. Uh, all you have to do is is plant your back against this wall, and I'm pretty sure you can do it from any of these angles. And I just aim low above this wood. I'll demonstrate again because I want to get the fucking wall. Retard. Grenade out. Boom. So if if they're walking up, like if you hear this noise occur, and then it all stops, you can put a fucking nade right in their face. If you, for whatever reason, don't have a molly, and you know they're on an anti-eco, this is a great nade to throw. Because this will fucking kill people. It's like 100% nade. It's nuts. Grenade out. Alright, uh, so that's... I talked about all the commit drop spots here. And we are at... 8 minutes in this video. 9 minutes in this video. Um, next spot is uh, how I play drop on rounds that I know that they're not coming. So if I have canceled them out, some rounds I'll do some some flashy shit, whatever I want to do there, right? Um, there's a couple spots that I like. If you know that they're already getting into low numbers, like our players have killed T's on plat, um, I move to a like semi-commit spot, which is like right here, you know, in a spot where you can just dodge away. And if you need to, you can support your plat. So just check this out real quick, standing right here. I can isolate plat while shouldering up, uh, upper drop, right? Once I'm in this position here, the other thing I can do is I can slide back out. I can isolate upper, like uh, upper drop, while slide peeking here. So there's two, two more things. There's like next level to this shit, right? What I like to do sometimes is I will get this kill and then while this guy, who if he's alone, you get lucky, um, he's 
telling these guys that you're drop, all you do is like the second this kill goes down, you slide your back against the wall. Two things are going to happen. You need to be ready for the instant trade, right? Coming from upper. If it does not happen, you're already in an angle that you can isolate sidewalk. You can shoulder out sidewalk here. I like it a little better than this position here because you're like in this fucking perfect uh, angle for like someone with a rifle to just come like double dink you at head height. To just come around and double dink you at head height. It's, it's rough. So I like this second angle back. All right. But again, this is all, this is like really simple angle isolation. Um, so once you're in this position and you want to go passive, uh, if you, especially if you've like gotten a kill already and your teammates still have, have control of plat. So you're not being pressured, um, directly, but you have a feeling that drop is going to become a later point of pressure. Uh, what, like the actual angle that I like to hold is an angle where if you step all the way back, all I'm doing is I'm literally isolating this, this wood thing. Um, this is the maximum to which I will peak. The reason for this is that if you're on this side here and you're looking in, um, until it's not until you're committed all the way around the side of the wood that you can even see like this drop layer. So if you're if you're like pressed up against the back or you're even even if you're close, like you can get more information. But um, obviously I like this back far back angle because you get to see more of them before they see you. They're in a commit position where they're close. They're going to end up being closer to this angle than than they expect you to be. Sorry. Um, so one more point of sound. There's a couple things that, that they can do here, just so you're aware. They can get you to commit to things that you don't need to commit to by faking sounds. All right, I just want, want it to be something in your mind because it's something I do when I play uh, T side of drop. Um, the other thing is that when players run off and drop onto wood, they can do that. They can like pixel, it's not like a perfect pixel thing. You have, to, you have to slide into it. It doesn't work. I don't know. Why the fuck? Anyway, this thing is supposed to make sound every time. And I think there's a way to crouch bug down it. But it may... Never mind. I suck at life. This makes a different sound than this is. Anyway. Why isn't it making a different sound? It only makes a different sound for other people. But either way, I can tell when, when uh, someone drops off wood and I'm playing this spot, right? So uh, two other things I like to do. When I'm on the spot, um, this is just about head height. Uh, this row of stones is at head height for people in this area. All right. Easy shots. Uh, the other thing you can do from this spot is if you know that someone that someone is committed, I will literally uh, hold back against the wall. I will literally peek into them and then dip to the, the next angle back. Again, it's, it's all about angle isolation. When you have two players drop, and one goes like this. This guy dies to you way when you're when you're hitting that, right? And then this guy, who drops at the same time, he's like isolated from this guy dropping. You go him, and this guy's gonna start to try and swing around the corner. And if you do it correctly, you're like one, two, and this this second guy is literally just gonna walk across here. All you have to do is just stop. Um, um, obviously, if you're on kill three, you know, you swing into the corner, and at this time, at this point, someone should be, there's two things that can happen. Um, at this point, you should have someone, if, uh, Platt's not pressured, these guys should be dropping nades for you. But that's really up to you guys to communicate in the round, alright? Um, we'll talk about late round nade usage real quick, uh, cause we are at... 14 minutes. I wanted to make this under 15 minutes. Fuck. Uh, late round, late round nade usage. Uh, two things I like to do. Right off that guy, it lands right in the middle, and it's very hard to dodge. I fucked that up, didn't I? There it is. 
That's what I'm looking for. Um, it prevents anyone who's just dropped from hiding from you. So, you hear them running, you toss a smiley, you peek your angles. The only, the only place that they should really be able to hide, I think, is on top of the pallet. What the fuck does it matter with me? Right in the middle. I think the only place that they can hide is the pallet. I fucked that up. So you have to kind of throw it harder. You'll figure it out. Um, the other thing... What were the other top flashes that I know? For this spot? I don't really use these. It's not worth it. Keep your gun on. Don't do anything else. The molly and your gun's up. That's it. 